Okay, this is a doozy. Let's talk about this. Uh, what town was this actually? Ibaragi, the Kitakyushu of Honshu. That doesn't really probably make it makes sense if you if, if you know what Kitakyushu is like. It's a bit of a yeah, you know, Tochigi and Ibaragi, they're north of there, they're in the northern Kanto Plains. They're they're kind of famous for having a bit of a, a funny accent. And they, they have uh, sort of a Yankee, the bosses, okay, the guys with the big hair and the sort of motorcycle, the, the gangs and whatnot up there. All of that said, lovely place. Uh, my favorite place to surf, Kashima Beach. They've got great surfing along the Owarai. Um, if you love Nato, <laughs> which you probably don't, but if you do, it's a great place to go to. Uh, but yes, Ibaraki, the um, Ibaraki, oh, this is from the Prefectural Health Division. So... The Itako, okay, the Itako Health Center. Apparently, they distributed a notice to agricultural cooperatives uh, within its jurisdiction saying, uh, there are many coronavirus patients likely infected by foreigners. If you talk with a foreigner, wear a mask or, as well. Please do not eat with them. Um, why would they do that? Well, other than just being racist, which they obviously, I mean, obviously, that's an unacceptable statement. Where does it come from? Um, the background to the um, unacceptable ra racist statement from Ibaragi. I mean, thank you for becoming immediately the drunk racist uncle of Japanese local governments. Uh, what's happening behind this is, of course, uh, there are, at the, we, we, under, under the apprenticeship visa scheme that I've talked about a lot on this channel, um, there are a lot of dormitories and so on with uh, many Vietnamese and people from other Asian countries in particular living uh, in close quarters in, the, in these dormitories uh, that work on these uh, farms in Ibaragi, in these rural areas. And apparently, um, for whatever reason, these dormitories have people living in close quarters with one another, and apparently the uh, health bureaus in Ibaragi have found some clusters that have taken place in these dorms. Um, so that that apparently is the backstory to this but the the conclusion that they drew from that was telling everybody not to associate with the foreigners anymore um yeah which really uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, if someone looks like a foreigner, don't talk with them and don't eat with them. Uh, they retracted the advice promptly when someone pointed out to them that that looked a little bit too Nazi. Uh, nasty. Uh, um, that didn't look appropriate. And they did that, of course. It made, again, the good news is, is that it got, like, coverage all over the things, including on NHK and mainstream national news, as being completely unfathomable and unacceptable. So the good news is that everybody was appropriately um, upset, as they should be. And whatever the justification, of course, the outcome is, is that, you know, effectively the advice is to avoid people who look foreign. And, you know, it's as if we have enough problems right now. I'd also worry myself that just the advice on its own could also reinforce the idea that maybe foreigners are traveling back and forth right now, which we definitely are not. Japanese are allowed to do that. Japanese can leave the country and come back, but foreigners are not allowed to come back into the country if we leave. So, you know, we're like the ones who are least likely to be bringing it in right now. The, the, the UK variant, which is currently the 77% of cases in Tokyo was brought in by a Japanese employee of Reuters, or I think this is one of the stories that, that, that that's going around for that. And, uh, you know, almost certainly the Indian variants that are now raging in Osaka, causing much, much higher infection rates and, and severity of cases, even though the overall rates are coming down right now, um, affecting people a lot worse down there. These are almost entirely by Japanese people coming back. But, uh, yeah, the old knee-jerk thing certainly was there in the beginning that um, this is something that foreigners must be bringing in. I mean, remember, we're the, we're the ones who can get deported if we violate the voluntary quarantine rules. There's no, there's no enforcement on Japanese people for this. Um, but, yeah, not helpful, Ibaragi, but, uh, yes, you know, um, so that is the thing that happened. That is disappointing, doesn't The fact it made the national news shows that it's not common. Um, and it was rightly condemned and called out, but still, that's a thing that happened that shouldn't have. So there you go. Back.